Fatty's fault we're lost. No, it's not. Of course it is. We wouldn't be lost if Hunt had eaten the map. And Hunt wouldn't have eaten the map if you hadn't hid your sandwich in it. Maybe it's fate that Hound ate the map. Maybe we'll find something wonderful along the way. We'll discover that when I'm in the back seat too long with my younger sisters, I go and see and murder them. Steady, troops. Rosalind, how about a game? Good idea, Dad. Let's play I went to the zoo and I saw. I went to the zoo and I saw an anteater. Jane? I went to the zoo and saw an anteater and a buffalo. Batty. I went to the zoo and I saw an anteater, a buffalo, and a kangaroo. Kangaroo starts with a K, not a C. No, it doesn't. It starts with a C, like cat. Just take your turn, Sky. There's no point in playing if you don't do it right. Daddy, what do you remember about the map? Well, we're supposed to go past a little town called Framley, then make a few turns and look for number 11 Safford Street. Didn't we see Framley a little while ago? I look. We've been past those cows before. Good eyes, Rosie. But weren't we going the other direction last time? Maybe this way we'll do the trick. No, because all we saw along here were cow fields, remember? Oh, yes. Keep your annoying wings to yourself, Batty. They're not annoying. Lost and weary, the brave explorers and their faithful beast argued among themselves. Only Sabrina Star remained calm. How many Sabrina Star books has Jane written? Sabrina Star rescues a cricket, Sabrina Star rescues baby sparrow, Sabrina Star rescues a turtle, and Sabrina Star rescues a groundhog. Four. And I know she's looking for inspiration for a fifth. Maybe she'll have inspiration at the cottage we're going to. I hope they haven't started fighting again. Okay, Batty's just trying to see Hound, and Jane's writing in her blue notebook. But, oh no. Sky's puffing out her cheeks and imitating a fish. That means she's even more bored than I feared. We better find this cottage soon. Honey, let's go to the bathroom. Soon, honey. Wait, here's family. I think this is where we need to turn. Cottages don't have front yards like this. Are you sure you remember the right address? Pretty sure. The exhausted travelers saw before them a dwelling for, for kings, Caraparville, El Dorado, Camelot. Too bad we're not kings. And we're still lost. Wait, there's a gardener. We can ask him where we need to go. Shaking your sneakers, you're splashing it around. I'll come back with paper towels. Remember the time he ate a lemon cream pie at the Geeger's picnic table? He really puked that time. What about the time when he stole the meatloaf out of the refrigerator? He was sick for two days. Well, troops, good news. Cagney, the gardener, told me that this is the right place after all. The mansion is Arendelle Hall, and our cottage is at the back of the state grounds. The key should be under the mat. Oh, and Cagney told me to tell you to watch out for Miss Tifton. She owns the mansion, and she doesn't like people going in her garden. Well, let's go. Jane, come on. I thought I saw a boy up there. He was looking at us. Where? Up there, top row on the right. There's no one there, Jane. You imagine him. Maybe. I don't think so. But whether I did or not, it's giving me a good idea. 